will be the third in our mini series parts and pieces. And in this video, we'll be talking about direction changing pieces. So direction changing pieces are these Lego pieces that allow you to build in different angles. For example, we have these L-shaped pieces or these um, angled connectors. So if you wanted to create a right angle and you just took two beams and a peg, it wouldn't work because it's just not really stable. It just moves all the way around. If you wanted to make a T-shape with just one peg, it would just spin around as well. And if you wanted to make a square with just these um, beams and four pegs, it would collapse on itself. So that's why we have these angle changing pieces which provide a sturdy and effective way to create angles with your pieces. So the most standard Lego angle changing piece is this right angled three by five hold piece. And since it's all these technicals, we could use these black pegs to attach it to other beams. And this is really sturdy. And uh, we have its little counterpart, which is a smaller angle changing right angle piece. It's two by four and it has an axle hole on one side. So all we have to do is just use this blue peg, which converts axles to peg holes um, to connect it to beams. And we also, to make T-shapes, we also have this T-shape piece, which are all technicals and we can use these black packs to connect it to the beams. And we also have this other part, which allows us to create 90 degree angles, sturdy, uh, sturdy 90 degree angles. And it also has other functions, which we'll go into later. So now we move on to these angle changing pieces, which are these light gray um, Lego pieces that give you a new twist on building because they allow you to build in all four directions. So we start off with this little length three piece, which has a hole in the middle and two pegs on either side. So you're able to build in all four directions when you put a long blue peg in the middle of the hole. So like that. And similarly, we have an eight shape piece, which has two holes and four pegs. And if you also put long blue pegs through the holes, you're able to build in all four directions as well. And then we move on to this L shape piece, which has three holes and four pegs. And this will allow you to make an L shape uh, out of these beams and you can build in all four directions as well. So you got holes here and you have holes along the sides. And all you have to do is put in um, these black pegs or these long blue pegs to be able to build on the sides. On the top here, we have the axle connectors. They're used to connect axles like this. They come in all these angles as we have shown in this figure where all of them are connected. There are also these connectors which are basically bent beams. All of them have cross shaped holes on the ends which are for axles and you can build on these with more beams and maintain the same angle. Here we have many miscellaneous connectors which may come in handy and all have their specific purposes. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.